night. Thank you very much and welcome. Boy, what a, what a, what a great group. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, my name is Pat Sajak. I am uh, 42 years old. That's 48 Canadian, isn't it? How does that work exactly? I'm not, I'm not sure. I could never... Let me explain how I ended up at this spot uh, on this evening and how this all came to be. The producer of this great extravaganza wanted a big name, and so he called Hollywood and said, look, could I get that cute, funny blonde from Wheel of Fortune? And Vanna White wasn't available, and here I am, and it's the best we could do. Uh, I had a strange day today. I, I love your city. It's beautiful. I traveled all around the streets. It is a terrific place. But... But the oddest thing, people kept coming up to me and saying, welcome back, it's been 20 years since you've been here, it's good to see you again. And, and even though I've been to Canada frequently, I, I didn't start coming until about 1980, so I was confused by that. Uh, and I, I finally figured out what it was, and it's a common mistake and people make it all the time. Let me clear it up right now, 20 years ago, it was not me, that was uh, Dan Quayle serving his country at the time. So just, <laughs> want you to know that. You see the resemblance? Uh, now, I'm not an official spokesman for my nation, but in an unofficial way, just as a concerned citizen, I'd like to take a moment to apologize for this whole acid rain mess. It's our fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, in fairness, though, and on the other side of the coin, uh, we're sending you the acid rain, but you did send us Alan Thicke, so it kind of balances out. <laughs> Has Alan gone home? I want to make sure. That... Uh, one of the nice things about coming to Canada is I get a chance to stop off in Chicago, which is my hometown, and I get to visit my family. And I did that last night, and they're, they're great, they're happy, they're healthy, I'm happy to say. Uh, my mom looks terrific. She, she's on this Oprah Winfrey uh, liquid diet, the same diet Oprah was on, and she's had the same startling results. My mother is now a 32-year-old black woman. It's amazing how <laughs> that works. Getting your own show in the fall, too. Uh, I shouldn't admit this, but the last time I came to Canada, I got into some uh, legal uh, hassle. Uh, as I was crossing the border back to the States, I was going into Buffalo, and I tried to sneak in a couple of cases of uh, Molson Golden. And, uh, you know, without declaring them, and they, they're very strict about that, and they, and they took it from me, and I, you know, it was my fault, and I, uh, but they watch it very carefully. In fact, the last person to get out of this country with anything of value was Janet Jones, I think, and that was what, uh, <laughs> It's only a little humor, no need. <laughs> you know, um, I'm mentioning beer, you have great beers up here. This is a wonderful country in which... And, but the best part is the names, they're macho, kind of strong guys' names. I mean, you have Moosehead, and you have Timberwolf, and you have Grizzly. I mean, those are things you really just want to suck down the whole bottle down your throat there. It's great. In L.A., you know, we drink Barry Manilow Light. I mean, how can you... <laughs> which, by the way, is the lightest beer ever brewed, I want you to know. Actually floats out of its glass sometimes. Now, you won't offend me by the, answering this next question by your applause. I'm just curious, how many have ever seen my late night talk show? That's okay, I just, I'm curious. Because you never know, because I'm on CBS, and um, I don't know how closely you follow uh, United States television, but uh, CBS has trouble getting people to watch it. Uh, let's put it this way, if American television were a shopping mall, CBS would be the piano and organ store. You know, it's just <laughs> not much happening there. Well, what else before we uh, move on here? Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here tonight with, with these uh, fellow performers because I don't know how many of you know this, but I think it, virtually everyone in show business feels that this is such a wonderful business. We all have to give something back to the community, and I do that. I belong to an organization uh, I don't know if you have a counterpart up here, but it's called Big Brothers of America. Uh, and it's terrific. Uh, uh, young men without uh, uh, male guidance uh, can hook up with someone who can provide that. And it's very nice. Every Saturday, this guy comes to my house, takes me to the circus. I just love it. It's so much fun. Is your tongue in good shape? Well, I'm talking industrial pudge. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean. Like the kind of person buys high heels, wears them once in their slippers. I used to date this girl who had one breast bigger than the other, and she got in a wet t-shirt contest last Thursday and took first and third place out there at the contest out there. 
you believe that? I was so proud of my sister, bless her heart. <laughs> That's right. 